Just three and a half hours, the city of Phoenix will be revisiting bringing back a program used to cut down on red light runners. I know we've all seen this happen, or maybe you've done it yourself. The city stopped this program back in early 2020. This morning, 12 News journalist Jen Wall is joining us live. Jen, what can we expect to learn today? Yeah, good morning to you. So the city is expected to start talking about possibly turning those red light cameras back on at about 10 o'clock this morning. A city spokesperson tells us no matter what the subcommittee decides today, potential final adoption of the automated red light cameras will still need to go to the full city council for a vote. So even if this is approved today, red light cameras would not turn back on just yet. Now in the previous program, Phoenix had 12 cameras at different locations, all tracking those red light runners. Back when the council voted to stop the program, the Phoenix Police Department wanted to renew it. The department saying in council documents they helped reduce crashes, injuries, and deaths. Now, according to a 2020 AAA report, more than two people were killed every day across the country, all because of red light running. Those bringing up concerns with the program, though, say it's a money-making tool, but Phoenix says it did not make significant revenue, and that revenue did cover the cost of the program. Some also share concerns with camera placement, according to the city of Phoenix. So again, talks over this red light runner program starting at 10 o'clock this morning in just three and a half hours. 12 News expected to have a crew there. So stay with us for later editions of 12 News and 12news.com for the very latest on the plan. We know it affects millions of people right here in the Valley. But our live in Phoenix, Jen Walt, 12 News, Today and Easy.